So Microsoft just put out an Xbox research survey about Halo Infinite, where it says, are you done playing Halo Infinite? Yes, no, maybe. And once you answer one of those questions, it then proceeds to ask you, do you think 343 Industries is listening and making changes to Halo Infinite based on community feedback? And you have options from one to five, such as strongly disagree, neither agree nor agree, strongly agree, or there is a sixth option for not sure. Uh, this is a, such a weird thing for them to do. There's several other questions in here as well, but the short of it is Microsoft is taking zero responsibility for the mismanagement of Halo Infinite and for the mismanagement of 343 Industries as a studio. 343 was formed from Microsoft. It was a mishmash of devs from Battlefield, Halo, Gears of War, several other titles, Call of Duty, you name it. The studio was comprised of devs from, from other games formed by Microsoft to keep Halo alive. And Microsoft is constantly pushing the fast and early releases of titles from 343 that result in broken and unfinished products and all the blame is going up to 343. Yes, 343 and the, the management up there have done several things wrong. However, <laughs> this survey just seems so weird to me. Um, another one is, I can trust the release dates and roadmaps for Halo Infinite content that 343 Industries share. It's just like Microsoft is asking, do you guys have trust and faith in 343 and do you still play the product that 343 has made? It's such a, a weird scenario. This is the kind of thing that um, gets sent around to um, to companies. When you're an employee, when you're an internal employee at a company, we get these surveys every month or so. Well-being surveys, uh, performance surveys, surveys about the CEO, and it's usually an internal thing. Um, and you kind of, you know, give your opinions on the the business outlook and. Um, whether business is going, whether you agree or disagree with some things that have been done, choices that were made, whether you agree with management and things like that. But they're just outright asking the public. <laughs> but it should be it should be glaringly obvious by now that the, the, the public has lost trust in 343 and Microsoft. But Microsoft needs to take some accountability for this. It's uh, such a strange scenario to be in. Another one, I think 343 Industries is doing a good job communicating. I would actually strongly agree with this. They, they don't shy away from coming out and saying, like, we're having problems with this. This will be delayed. Um, this is why we can't do this. This will be early. This will be on time. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we've dispelled this rumor. <laughs> Another one here. Which traditional modes would you like to see added to Halo Infinite? This is good. This one is really good. And then you've got Ideas such as Firefight, Assault, Breakout, Juggernaut, Invasion, Flood. These are great questions that we should be asking. This is much more like it. I guess it is just player feedback, but it seems so so weird um, how they're just failing to take any responsibility and accountability for the mismanagement of this franchise. Um, but that's, that's the corporate face that Microsoft has to put on, the brave face. Um, this is such a weird scenario that several people on social media are asking for a source to prove this is real because it seems so strange. <laughs> the comment section of, um, so Revs Gaming put a tweet out, who is a video game informer, and after a couple hours, the comment section reads, what's the source? Do you have a source? I feel like asking, are you done at the end of a survey feels very informal. Uh, holy snap, this runs contrary to Phil Spencer's suggestion that everything is fine at 343. Uh, is this for real? Where can we fill this in? Send me a link to prove it's real. Uh, where can we fill this in? <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, very strange. Um, but I just wanted to provide an update on uh, Infinite, and this seems like the most recent news that's going on, <laughs> so... Uh, hopefully, good good things come of this. Hopefully, they take on the player feedback and they really do make changes based on this survey. I would hate for them to take in all this data, hand it to 343, 
and nothing happens. If the upper management at Microsoft or 343 just completely dismisses what is given here, because as a as an indie developer myself, I fully believe that the communities of your games should be what drive the product. At the end of the day, you're making a product for them. They are the target audience, and they are the they're the deciding factor on the success of your product. If they don't like it, they're not going to play it. Therefore, your product will fail. If they do like it, they're going to play it and your product will succeed. It's really that simple. Listen to player feedback, take on board their suggestions and ideas, fix the bugs that they think are priorities. Like, that's all it is. You just need a, a nice one-to-one -one communication with dev and community and you're setting yourself up for success. Um, so although this is a weird scenario, and I don't think Microsoft is taking accountability for the mismanagement of Halo, hopefully this is a sign of better things to come in the near future. That's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.